Well, the new Call of Duty trailer is out and the reaction has been exceedingly positive. Hundreds of thousands of upvotes just compared to a few thousand downvotes. And of course, we've got to talk about Woman. Woman representation in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And you might be saying, oh, not again. Oh, but it's even more crazy than you could have ever imagined. Now, it's not about representation. It's about the fact that they are competing on an even playing field, and some of them are meeting the same fate that their male counterparts are. That's right. Hey, if nothing else, the game's journalist hot takes will keep the lights on at the quartering headquarters for another day. Make sure you remember to drop a like on this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below as we have a good laugh together at the expense of Dean Takahashi. Now, if you don't remember who Dean Takahashi is, he is the infamous 30-year veteran of games journalism who is the lead writer for Games Beat at VentureBeat and covers games, chips, hardware, R&D, and other tech lives in Silicon Valley. You may remember his legendary Cuphead tutorial. Now that we've got that out of the way, now that you know with the high level of IQ we're dealing with here, a true gamer who understands video games and the community. And by the way, doesn't it seem like more video games are kind of understanding and giving their communities what they actually want? Look at Sonic. Listen to the fans redoing the thing gonna gonna support it. With uh, World of Warcraft, listen to the fans gave us WoW Classic. We're going to support it. Here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare looks like it's going to get a ton of support from the community. This is the type of thing we need to keep supporting as investors. Now, I'm not saying if you don't like Call of Duty games just to go buy them. That's not what I'm saying. But if you're a fan of the franchise or the genre, it looks like Activision may be looking at what the fans actually want and delivering it. And it's never been more important after recently losing the Destiny franchise. Activision has to absolutely do very well. We've seen Dean Takahashi's hot take. Call of Duty Modern Warfare gets horrific reboot on October 25th with crossplay support. So when we look at the article via archive.is, obviously, Call of Duty Modern Warfare impressions taking things in a frightening direction. I have been a Call of Duty fan since the first game in 2003. Excuse me while I drink my coffee and you all remember what I say about every time someone starts an article by telling you that they're a gamer. Everyone remember? I'll continue. But I have never wondered this question before until now. Should a particular game be made? The small glimpse of what I've seen so far tells me no. And to give you more context, and we'll come back to the article because it is unbelievable. Pixel Metal retweets this and saying, I'm not saying games should be censored, but games should be censored. It's rated M for a reason. It's not the responsibility of game developers or publishers to do their parents' job when the parents letting younger kids play games. Go burn a book somewhere else. Great take. Never heard of this person before. Sounds like we'd get along. To which Dean replies, I'm not a book burner or a game burner. In 30 years about writing for games, I have never said something like this. I'm raising the question for this one. And I'm saying that they should drop these scenes. I'm flaying this so parents, uh, for parents to be aware of another, quote, no Russian. Of course, it ends perfectly. I'm not a book burner. Later in the sentence, I'm saying that we should drop these scenes. What are the scenes... 
uh, what are these scenes? Well, let's get into that. And again, the games have a rating for a reason. Do I think that parents buy their games for their kids regardless of this? Of course, but that's the parents' parenting decision. I worked at Walmart in electronics, and when, <laughs> this is going to date me, I believe it was 50 cents, Bulletproof came out. There were plenty of parents buying this game for their kids, and who am I to judge? You saw it was rated M, I would remind them politely that it's rated M. They say, yeah, okay, stop telling me how to raise, how to raise my kid. I'm like, okay. Here's your game, sir. Will you be paying for that in food stamps? Activision is announcing today that Modern Warfare will ship on PS4, Xbox One, and PC for October on October 25th. Um, the publisher's Infinity Ward Studio recently showed a part of single-player campaign for an upcoming installment of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It has scenes of gameplay that are very disturbing to me. It brings to mind the No Russian controversy, where civilians were mowed down in a Russian airport in the 2009... 2009's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Well, the thing is, we're talking about realism here, right? This is something that the community in these type of games thirsts for. It's something that Battlefield 5 ignored. They pretended to provide it, but then baited and switched and dealt more in identity politics than realism. The people that buy these games want it to be realistic. And you know what? These situations that are being depicted here aren't always uh, pleasant. That's the reality of this, okay? The premise is that the rules have changed. It's not black and white, it's gray, with a far fine line between right and wrong. And yet, undoubtedly, this gritty single-player campaign will be coupled with multiplayer combat, um, where ending your opponent for a sport, if you put these things together with extremely realistic human characters, it becomes even more disturbing. Studio director Taylor Kurosaki and campaign director Jacob Minkoff explained some of Infinity Ward's intentions. He said that the team had taken into account that many of today's players have never played the original Modern Warfare. So they decided to do a reimagining rather than a sequel or a remake. The battlefield has never been less defined. Enemies are more often than not don't wear uniforms. This means that collateral damage civilians is a greater part of the equation now than it has or ever has been. Those situations are what our heroes are up against. So literally modern tactics, uh, tactics that we've had to deal with since Vietnam, all right? And that we deal with every day now uh, in our armed forces. This is the most authentic and realistic game we've ever made. Boom, sold. Won't pre-order, but you got me. As long as you deliver on that. Taylor and I as storytellers, we all we ever really want to do is make the players feel something. He added, we've done a ton of research in this game that we've determined is social commentary. Like this has always been a DNA in our games. We've sent research teams around the world. Players have unanimously told us that they want these emotional connections. Oh my goodness, you listen to the players. Well, oh, this is almost too much. This is almost too much. Where's my Lubriderm? Uh, they want complex, morally gray characters. They want gameplay that feels ripped from the headlines, delivers relevant, relatable, provocative moments that only this game would have the guts to show. For me as a developer who wants to push the medium forward and do things people have never seen before, getting to work on a franchise like this as expected, it's a dream come true. Fragging Wamen? In the first scene, there is uh, an attack in central London. This a team of British SAS operatives gathers in front of the townhouse that they suspect harbors bad people in a manner that resembles a raid or Rainbow Six Siege. They gather together, storm the house. The music is menacing. The character chatter is by the book. And people look so real that if you pass by a TV playing the game, you could... So the problem is that it's real? Okay. One of the women runs for a baby. Fortunately, the developers told me later that you cannot frag that woman or the baby. She surrenders. But in another room, a woman runs for a weapon. She prepares to fire. You have to end her. Yeah? That's the point. Okay? That is equal representation. That is realistic. What is the problem here? First is that there's not enough woman. So you, only, you want all the woman in the video games to be invincible? Your silence weapon makes a muffled noise. The bodies hit the floor. Up close and personal. The same goes for other armed men in the same place. In another room, um, one enemy is wounded and gurgles his last breath. A woman cries in the background. One of your soldiers goes down. This sounds super real. 
This sounds like exactly the type of game I'd want to play. In the final room, you confront an unarmed woman. She tries to divert you. She moves despite your warnings to stop. She then grabs a, a detonator, and you have to protect yourself. So? So? I, I don't understand. You're worried about all this realism. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd, grab my pearls. I need to clutch them. Should these scenes be in the game? The game will be controversial. Awesome. Great for the quartering. <laughs> it will be just as popular because of that controversy if the company can weather the storm of criticism. But it would be a very cynical path to popularity. I would encourage the developers to examine why they should include these scenes I've seen. Sure, it's realistic. And things like this happen. Okay, full stop. Full stop. Yes, things like this happen. Yes, that's why it's important that they're in the game. What's so hard to understand about that? It's a video game. All right? It's not real life. And also, for the record, it's no different than anything you see on the big screen in the movie theater that has a PG-13 rating. Good question is, are these scenes really so bad? We've seen worse in modern movies. Okay. Video games and even on YouTube. Um, I have a scene where... Uh, Something happened to a child and her family in Modern Warfare 2 probably sold better because of the no Russian controversy. But yet you write this article anyway. This one feels worse. My reaction is that developers should censor themselves. It's not that developers should censor themselves, but someone else should censor for them. Whoa. And so the mask slips and we see what this dude really wants. My question is about choices. Can we make this kind of game... But should be. We can. But should we? But should this kind of content, which we see in movies or books, be in video games? Of course it should. Why is it any different, you moron? Oh my goodness. Should they have depicted in a form of art that we have so much agency? It's like, it's going to be M-rated that could shouldn't play, but I had a conversation with an Uber driver who told me he let his six-year-old play the game. Well then, okay, he's not a great parent. Or maybe he's, they are so good of a parent that they've taught their child the difference between reality and video games, and the child understands that, which most children can. I would like to play a COD game that makes me think hard, feel intense, and is fun to play. I usually shrug off criticism from people who say these games are too rough. As far as I can tell, you can still play the good guys in this game. Michael Condry, the former co-head of Activision's Sledgehammer Studio, said at our recent Games Beat Summit event that in the age of... Uh, oh my god, are we really bringing up New Zealand? Okay, alright, now we know. This game will fuel those who want to hate. On one hand, some groups will be outraged that their people are branded as bad people and then they will share snippets of this game on social media and take things out of context. Groups of outraged lawmakers, parents, and non-gamers will turn their ire toward all of gaming. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because people are more educated now. People know that there's no real science behind this. And at the end of the day, the game is rated M for a reason. Sometimes you have to judge something on just what your eyes tell you. And my vote is that the single player campaign should not ship with these scenes. I will tell you this right now, Call of Duty. Everybody that likes this video is probably in agreement with me. If you remove these scenes, I will not buy your game. Okay? Listen to me, Call of Duty. If anybody knows people at Activision, listen to me. Come in close here. If you remove these scenes... I will not buy your game, and thousands of people will feel the same way. Heed our warning. Don't do what Battlefield 5 did. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.